Welcome to an overview of the Dynamic Backend Generator version 4 created in-house by the editorial team of the Vectors Journal at www.vectorsjournal.org. Here we see the front page of Vectors. By clicking through, we see a list of projects for the current issue on Perception. One of these projects is Dead Reckoning. A Vectors project is a standalone dynamic website. Here, by clicking the gray View Project link, we open this particular project. This project demonstrates a dynamic website, built, in this case, in Flash. With dynamic text, images, video, a Vectors project requires an administrative tool, a way for the site creators to administer the elements of a website called a backend or backend tools. Backends take many forms, but usually involve a login in order to protect access. Once inside the backend, we see an overview of the site's content. Here we see the DBG's spreadsheet. This is the actual content driving the Dead Reckoning project. We can click on specific cells of the spreadsheet to make edits, cut and paste text, delete text in a text box that forms over the spreadsheet. Using the pull down at the top of the DBG, we can switch to another spreadsheet, already set up by the creative director in this case, which administers another set of data for the Dead Reckoning project. We may add new rows to this spreadsheet using the blank row at the bottom of every spreadsheet. Like many content managers, the program has many more features. On the left-hand side of the DBG, we see a conversation area. We can add to this instant messenger-like environment or see what other users have mentioned. You may interact with a creative director or developer using this tool. This not only logs the development process for future user scholarship, but also is useful for teams to interact with each other while working on the data over time. Also a new feature in the DBG4 is annotations. Each cell may be annotated with information specific to its content. By clicking the small note icon in the upper right of each cell, we are presented with a box where we may enter in an annotation. We may also open up existing annotations and edit or remove entirely. The finished annotation shows up as a small orange box in the upper right of each cell. One of the most powerful features of the DBG is relations. Databases may combine two or more spreadsheets together to create links between data that drive the front end website. Often these connections live in the world of code. A website or backend tools must be coded by a programmer to display the connections in a human readable form. The DBG combines the spreadsheets together into one view. Here we see green text displaying data from a second table in line with the current spreadsheet. Clicking on the cell for this piece of data presents a pull down with the information from a second spreadsheet. When selected, this connection is formed in the database and the information displayed to the user. The DBG also supports extended relationships. Here we see data combined from a third party table underneath certain rows. Clicking on them allows the user to change the connections, add new connections, or remove. This feature is of course available for every row. Each time you make an action, the tables in the database are updated accordingly and the information is displayed to the user. In this way, the DBG is really creating a complete back-end tool for this project dynamically and on the fly. Finally, with the DBG, much like other administrative tools such as PHP MyAdmin, you may create or destroy new database tables or fields using the administrative options viewable by clicking the Admin On button in the upper left of the DBG. By then clicking Add Table or Add Field, we may create these elements to our database.